Hi, uh, I'm Ryan Martini, and I'm a senior biochemistry major here at Calvin. And I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Isrex lab. So this is the ISREX lab. ISREX stands for Integrated Science Research Experimental Laboratory. And the idea of this laboratory is that uh, science has traditionally been divided among disciplines that have specific specialties. And uh, more and more, the problems that scientists are interested in, the really difficult problems of science, require input from people with lots of different types of expertise. So the idea of this space is to bring many different professors, many different students, all of whom have different specialties into the same room where they can work together and help each other to solve the problems that they're interested in. Uh, so before we, uh, before we go in, uh, this is a research laboratory, so I need you to put these safety glasses on. So I need you to put these safety glasses on. <laughs> We're just going to walk through a little bit and uh, talk about sort of what's going on here. So the specific uh, interest area that this lab is mostly around is sort of the intersection of biology and chemistry. Because in chemistry, we look at the molecular details of how things work. And specifically, we're most interested in the biological applications of how those things work, because that's very important from especially a medical standpoint. So uh, sort of how this works is that we've got, we've got different groups who have sort of their own areas. Over here we have um, two biology groups. This is Professor Wirtz's group. He is a microbiologist, so he looks at the uh, bacteria that live inside the guts of humans and especially termites, uh, because termites have really interesting guts that can dissolve wood and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then Professor DeYoung works over here. He's another molecular biologist. And then we've got two biochemists, Professor Wilsterman and Professor Arnois. And then on the other side, on the other side over here, we have two chemistry groups. Professor Tatko is a bioorganic chemist. And over here, Professor Benson is a bioinorganic chemist. And so, uh, and then in the center here between between the various groups, we have sort of a collaborative space where we have shared instruments. Like, uh, this is the MALDI that Anand is using here. Anand, say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm working on the MALDI, looking for some peaks. Yep. So what the MALDI does is basically it's an extremely sensitive scale for things that weigh uh, on the order of 10 to the minus 26 uh, kilograms. So really, really tiny stuff. And uh, we find them. Bas basically, <laughs> basically, we put stuff on a plate and zap it with a big UV laser, and then it flies through that tube there, and uh, light things fly faster than heavy things. So then we can tell how much they weigh. Uh, so this is, uh, this is an instrument that we just purchased on a grant from the National Science Foundation a couple of years ago. Uh, that uh, it costs three hundred thousand dollars, I think. And it gives so, us really high accuracy. Yeah, it's very accurate and very precise and very fast. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's a, that's a, that's another cool thing about science research that's going on at Calvin right now is that um, there's lots of professors who have externally funded grants um, because professors from all over the country can apply to places like the National Science Foundation and the National Institutes of Health for money to fund their research. And, uh, and so Calvin is very competitive at getting those grants, which means that the research that's happening here is competitive on the national scene, uh, even though we're an undergraduate institution and most scientific research is done at graduate schools. So that's, that's a really impressive thing on Calvin's resume. Of the seven professors who work here, I think one, two, three, at least four have externally funded governmental science grants. Um, so another aspect of this collaborative space that we have sort of in the center here is these mediascapes, these tables here. 
uh, and we call them the collaboration stations. Uh, professor, this is Professor Nellison, uh, and they're, what they're working on is uh, uh, sort of a, a bioinformatics using computers to uh, solve biological problems because a lot of uh, experiments generate all sorts of data, so much data that we actually need to use computers to sift through that data. And so the idea of this space is that uh, multiple people can be working on their computers and then uh, they can show their data to the whole group on this TV screen so that everyone can be sort of working together at the same time, showing each other what they're doing, and again, bring, sort of bringing people together to help solve difficult problems, which is the idea of this space.